If you're wondering which laptops for AutoCAD are worth your money, stick around. After we run through each product, I'll give you my personal take. Would I buy it or would I skip it? No fluff, just my honest opinion. Let's get into it. Asus ProArt P16 2025. This thing is a beast for creative work, rocking a stunning 4K OLED touchscreen and enough RAM to handle massive AutoCAD files without breaking a sweat. But it runs hotter than a $2 pistol, and the touchpad is so big you might accidentally click something in another dimension. Would I buy it? Maybe, if I'm working from a well-ventilated igloo and have the patience of a saint for that finicky touchpad. Lenovo Legion Pro 7i. It boasts a ridiculously fast processor and storage that makes rendering feel like a joke, plus a beautiful 240Hz screen that's smoother than a greased-up otter. The only problem is, the battery life is so laughably bad, you'll be lucky to get 40 minutes away from the wall, which is barely enough time to open your project file. Would I buy it? No, because I'd like my portable computer to actually be, you know, portable. MSI Titan 18HX Calling this a laptop is a stretch. It's a full-blown desktop replacement that offers what MSI calls total dominance with its insane power and glorious 18-inch 4K mini-LED display. On the flip side, it weighs nearly 8 pounds and the cooling fans scream so loud they could drown out a rock concert. So forget about working in a library unless you want to get kicked out. Would I buy it? Yes! if I had a ton of money to burn and wanted a machine that could probably double as a space heater in the winter. HP ZBuck Fury 16 G11. This is the sensible, professional choice. A super stable and powerful mobile workstation built from the ground up for demanding engineering and design work that will handle literally anything you throw at it. It's also about as exciting as a tax seminar and comes with a price tag that'll wake your wallet weep for its mother. Would I buy it? Yes, if my boss was paying for it and I needed a rock-solid machine for serious AutoCAD work without any of the gamer nonsense. Lenovo Legion 9i Gen 9. This laptop is an absolute powerhouse for creative tasks, chewing through video encoding and complex projects like they're nothing thanks to its top-tier hardware and a unique liquid cooling system. However, while the 3.2K mini LED screen is gorgeous, it's an unusual resolution, and the price is high enough to make you consider selling a kidney. Would I buy it? Maybe. It's an incredible performer, but for that kind of cash, I expect perfection, not just really, really good. Asus ExpertBook P5 P5405. This thing is built like a tank, with a battery that just refuses to die, lasting a ridiculous 20 hours on a single charge. But trying to get any serious rendering done on it feels like asking a grandpa to win a sprint, thanks to its pretty meh multi-core performance. Would I buy it? Maybe, if my main job was just opening AutoCAD files in a coffee shop far, far away from a power outlet, because that battery life is just insane. HP ZBook Power G11A. If you need raw, unapologetic power for your complex 3D models, this ZBook is an absolute beast with its workstation-grade processors and graphics options. Just don't plan on actually carrying it anywhere unless you want a free workout, because this thing is massive, and some of the screen options are so dim you'll think you're working in a cave. Would I buy it? Yes, if I was replacing my desktop and wanted something that could chew through simulations without catching fire, even if it weighs more than my ego. Asus ROG Zephyrus G16. This laptop is the supermodel of the group. It's impossibly thin, lightweight, and has a 240Hz OLED screen so gorgeous it will make your eyeballs weep with joy. The problem is, for a machine that costs a fortune, its performance doesn't quite match its high-end price tag making its cheaper rivals look like a bargain. Would I buy it? No, because while it's powerful enough for AutoCAD, paying this much for a performance that barely beats less expensive laptops feels like getting scammed in style. HP Dragonfly Folio G3. The pull-forward screen and included stylus make this feel like you're living in the future, sketching designs like Tony Stark. Plus, it runs completely silent, which is a nice party trick. But its battery life is pretty sad, and it only has two ports, so get ready to embrace the dongle life, and its actual processor performance is weak enough that you'll be watching rendering bars more than actually working. Would I buy it? No. This is for the boss who wants to look fancy while approving designs, not for the person who actually has to create them. Dell Pro 16 Plus PB6250 
This Dell is a solid no-nonsense machine that gives you a big 16-inch screen and decent performance without completely emptying your wallet, making it a pretty sensible choice. However, its processor struggles with tasks that use multiple cores at once, which is kind of important for AutoCAD, and the entry-level screen is about as bright as a rainy Tuesday in London. Would I buy it? Yes, if I was on a budget and needed a large screen for drafting because it gets the job done without any of the expensive frills or showing off. Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Carbon Gen 13. This thing is so ridiculously light, you'll constantly be checking your bag to make sure you didn't forget it somewhere, and the keyboard is an absolute dream for typing out angry emails to clients. But let's be real, its integrated graphics will probably start hyperventilating if you show it a complex 3D AutoCAD model. It's more suited for business tasks than for heavy design workloads. Would I buy it? Maybe, if my AutoCAD life was 90% 2D drawings and 10% pretending to be an important executive on the go, but for serious 3D work, this featherweight just isn't the heavyweight champion. Lenovo ThinkPad P14S Gen 5. It's built like a brick shithouse. Seriously, you could probably survive a minor building collapse by hiding under it, and it's specifically made for running CAD and BIM software smoothly. The downside is the base model's processor is a bit sluggish for heavy rendering, and the standard screen is about as exciting as watching paint dry, so you'll definitely want to spec it up for a better experience. Would I buy it? Yes, because it's a proper CAD workhorse that you can actually service and upgrade, which is a rare gem in a world of laptops that are glued shut. Dell Precision 6090. This absolute unit is packing so much power with its Intel Core Ultra 9 and NVIDIA RTX 5000 ADA GPU that it will tear through your AutoCAD files like a shark through a school of fish, all while looking gorgeous on its OLED display. The problem is that it costs more than a decent used car, and for all that money, Dell was apparently too cheap to include a decent number of ports, so I hope you loved the dongle life. Would I buy it? Yes, if I suddenly won the lottery, because this workstation is a performance beast designed to build the next architectural masterpiece without breaking a sweat. Lenovo ThinkPad P1 Gen 7. I love that this thing is super thin and light for a workstation, but is still certified to run demanding software from Autodesk, so it won't crash when you're in the middle of a massive project. However, the anodized black finish is a disgusting fingerprint magnet that will make your pristine laptop look like a crime scene after five minutes, and the fans scream bloody murder when it's under load. Would I buy it? Yes, because it's a fantastic mix of portability and raw power, and I guess I can just live with wiping it down obsessively every 10 seconds. HP Omnibook Ultra Flip 14. The flip design with its beautiful OLED touchscreen is awesome for doodle and quick concepts, and the battery life is so long it might just outlive your career. Plus, the 4K webcam makes you look unreasonably good in meetings. But honestly, trying to do any serious 3D work on this is a joke. The processor can't handle intensive tasks, and it's missing essential ports like USB-A and HDMI, which is just infuriating. Would I buy it? No because bringing this to a heavy AutoCAD session is like bringing a spork to a gunfight. It's a cool gadget for lighter tasks, but completely outmatched for real workstation demands. Dell XPS 169640. This thing packs a punch with an Intel Core Ultra 9 processor and an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4060 graphics card, so your AutoCAD projects will render faster than my will to live on a Monday morning. But honestly, it's so sleek and minimalist, I'm half convinced it's going to overheat if I look at it too hard. Plus, it's a bit of a chunk at over 2 kilograms. Would I buy it? Yes, because with a 99.5 watt-hour battery, I can almost legally fly with it. And its premium aluminum body makes me feel important. Lenovo Yoga Pro 9i. Lenovo came to play with this one cramming in an Intel Core Ultra 9 185H and a GPU that can handle a 100-watt power limit, which means it will chew through your complex models without breaking a sweat. The downside is the memory is soldered, so if you don't get the 64GB version, you're stuck with your decision forever like a bad tattoo. Would I buy it? Yes, that 3.2K mini LED screen with a 165Hz refresh rate is so absurdly bright and beautiful, my designs would look better than they have any right to. HP Omnibook 7 Flip. This laptop is trying to be everything at once, a flippy two-in-one, a next-gen AI PC, but it kind of forgot the one thing we need, a decent graphics card for AutoCAD. That base model with Intel Arc graphics is gonna cry if you show it a 3D model, and early reviews have screamed terrible software, which is the biggest red flag since my last date. Would I buy it? 
No, because showing up to a client meeting with this to run AutoCAD would be like bringing a butter knife to a sword fight. Microsoft Surface Laptop Studio 2. Okay, this one's officially certified for AutoCAD, which is a big deal. And its weird flippy hinge that turns it into a drafting table is genuinely cool for sketching out ideas. However, they have the absolute audacity to sell you this creative powerhouse, but make you buy the special pen separately, which is just insulting. Would I buy it? Maybe, because being able to pull the screen forward and pretend I'm a cool architect from the future is a powerful fantasy, even if it's an expensive one. HP EliteBook Ultra G1Q. This laptop is the new kid on the block, running a super speedy ARM-based Snapdragon X Elite processor that's all about AI and insane battery life. But, and this is a big but, it has all the graphics power of a potato for 3D rendering, and good luck getting your specialized CAD software to run properly on an ARM chip without setting something on fire. Would I buy it? No. Buying this for AutoCAD right now is like betting your entire life savings on a horse that hasn't been born yet. Thanks for watching. I hope this video helped you pick the laptops for AutoCAD for you. If you have any questions, drop a comment below. Links to all of these products mentioned in this video will be in the description.